I'm Peter Schriepel. You might know me from my YouTube channel where I make all sorts of flying aviation contraptions. This is Sailor Versus, a series where other creators and I see if you have what it takes to be a sailor in the Navy. I'm here with aviation machinist mate, first class, Caleb DeFridis. And today I get to pick his brain to see what it's like to be an aircraft mechanic in the Navy. Hey Caleb, well due to the pandemic, we couldn't really meet face to face, but thanks for jumping on this video call with me. Hi Peter, I'm looking forward to talking to you. Well, we got this giant box today and this giant metal ring is in it. What is this thing exactly? Well, Peter, this is a combustion module for a F404 slash 402 engine. This produces thrust that drives the HPT, which eventually drives the engine. All right, neat. Yeah, I was wondering why it looked the way it is. It looks like it does have a bunch of like little holes and like nozzles on it. So I figured it had something to do with the uh, fire part of the engine. Well, you're correct. So the combustion happens in the casing and the hot air gases with the cool air gases from the fan comes through these segments, which is 22 segments. I guess before we like look into this thing, uh, can you tell me like what an aviation machinist mate does in the Navy? We inspect, maintain, and repair engine components and any components that drive the aircraft. Okay, cool. So it seems like you guys like oversee like the whole, you know, brains of most of the operation when it comes to like making sure the aircraft are ready for flight and everything is safe. But the AD mission is to send aircraft flying and bring them back safely. That's awesome. So today, Peter, I'm gonna show you how to disassemble the combustor in a casing. So you start taking off these, these bolts around here, nice and easy. Okay, I'll go and start, get that done, start taking these things out. So Caleb, I mean, I guess everyone has like an inspiration for like doing what they do. When did you like realize that you wanted to like join the Navy and maybe work on like jet engines and stuff? Well, I was a jack of all trade. I did HVAC, I did work on cars, I did a lot of random trades, so it built me up to join the military. So cool, man. Yeah, it seems like it seems like a lot of people I meet generally have like the same kind of like story. Like my brother's actually in the army too, and he's kind of mechanically inclined as well. That's cool to hear. How's the hands-on training in the Navy? So we have a saying in the Navy, OJT is king, and that's on the job training. The best way to learn. Nice. You can read about stuff in manuals all day, but I do love hands-on stuff. You, you learn the best, typically, from my experience, by just doing the thing. I know you like to work on different engines and stuff, but how do you get started? I don't really have any formal training, but I'm pretty good like reading what I see on the internet as far as like manuals goes and stuff. So I just always kept my hands busy, and then, you know, one thing just led to another, and I kept building bigger and bigger airplanes and stuff. So how do you get started with your uh, YouTube channel? I've always like watched YouTube like growing up, but I always thought, you know, maybe I could do that a little bit better and there was something specifically missing on YouTube, so I specifically made my videos to kind of fill that void, and that's, I guess, how it got kind of popular. Oh, that's cool. So after we removed all these bolts, we have four jacking screws, and you have the jacking points, so we can jack these down, and we have to do it in a start pattern so that it comes up evenly, because if it's stuck, it's gonna be a hard day taking it out. All right, sounds good, I'll get started. So right now, I am going through my start pattern, going from, it doesn't really matter where you start from, just as long as it's crisscrossed. Just go a little bit down until it raises up and keep going around until it's out. So hey, Peter, where you at? All right, so now I'm getting these screws and I'm going through like a star pattern over here, trying to walk this thing out very slowly. Oh, okay, great. Of all the aircraft you worked on in the Navy, what's the favorite that you've worked on? Well, my favorite aircraft to work on is the MH-60 Seahawk. It's a lot of work involved, but it's really great to see it fly. Okay, the helicopter, all right. Helicopters, uh, they seem pretty sketchy. Like, there's like a giant cluster like thing of like rotating parts in that. that. That's pretty cool. So right now, the jacket is already done. Just gonna take it out. Make sure you take it out as level as possible because it will get stuck. There we go, got mine out. How did that go for you? It did get stuck just a little bit, but I just a little bit of pulling on it and I eventually just got it out. So now that you got it out, we're gonna go ahead and put it back in. So what you want to do is set the INS, align the holes, and we're going to bolt it back down. All right, sounds good. I'll go ahead and get started. So what was it like the first time you saw a jet engine? I mean, I only see this little tiny part here, and it looks pretty complex. How does the whole thing uh, like make you feel? <laughs> so well, uh, first time seeing these engines, I was like, uh, what am I supposed to do again? Although you have the training, it's a lot to take in, but as you go take steps by steps, you'll get it eventually. So, you know, fixing things is pretty cool, but have you ever got to like ride in these things or I don't know, fly them? Uh, ride, yes. Fly, not yet. I'm working on it. <laughs> very cool, yeah. I, I imagine most people that join the Navy really do want to fly the planes. That'd be very cool to do that one day. It will be. I'm gonna get there. Well, keep working on it, man. It's awesome. 
So I installed all the bolts already. Now I'm starting to tighten them down with the speed handle. Some of the things that you look out for is making sure that the INS is actually seated and the holes are not off. Because if they're off, the, the bolts will be hard to go in and it will cause a strip of the bolts. So you destroy the bolts, you destroy the INS, and it's the whole process of redoing the whole thing over again. Yeah, I imagine stripping a bolt like on something, this is pretty expensive. So I try to like hand start them too before I like run them in with the, uh, the driver. Uh, so Peter, how do you feel about putting this back together? I feel pretty good. I'm pretty much just snugging them back down and I'm, I'm pretty much done. I guess like my takeaway from this is like, if you really are kind of mechanically inclined, you could probably do a lot and work on some very expensive, very big aircraft in the Navy. So it's great if you're mechanically inclined, but you don't need to be. With on the job training, you can be the best you can be. Well, it seems like I kind of learned a lot like talking to you about like being an aviation machinist mate in the Navy. I look forward to the challenge we're gonna have later on. Yeah, I'm looking forward to it too. Want to learn more about being an aviation machinist mate in the Navy? Just click the link in the description below. And watch me go head to head where I put this combustion module back together.